Whether you're a solo entrepreneur, running a small business, or a nonprofit, finding ways to promote and differentiate your business can be challenging, especially in the world of video messaging. In this course, I'll show you how to create five video styles which have proven effective for other businesses, and you've probably seen a few of them on TV crafted by major brands. But you don't have to be a Fortune 1000 company to produce these quality videos. You just need to understand their structure and how you fit into them. Throughout this course, I will teach you these five basic videos and how you can easily and professionally produce them yourself. I've used each of these with our clients and over the past dozen or so years have learned what works best, what doesn't work at all, and what might work depending upon your business. Each section focuses on one type of video. I recommend that you first learn all five styles before deciding on one. And then don't just stop with one. Each style suits a different purpose and can be used across multiple platforms, which is essential to having real impact. After we walk through the videos and how to create them, we will plan your video from picking the best set and venue to understanding what basic equipment you might need and how to brand yourself throughout the video and where to post each style for greatest impact. Okay, are you ready? Let's start with the video business card. The video business card is just that, a short, to-the-point video introducing you, your business or services to someone you've never met. Just as you would hand someone a printed business card, you want your video business card to reflect you and include information that would set you apart, differentiate you from the competition. Now, your video business card is not going to be the same as a printed card, but it should include all of the information found on your printed card. And, since it may often be your first impression, follow the KISS rule, you know, keep it short and simple. You've probably seen at least one website using this style of promotional video. They're usually the videos that start up automatically once you land on the website's homepage. It might be someone standing, like I am, or they could be seated, or even walking onto the screen. The videos are generally about one minute in length, but could stretch to 90 seconds. And no longer than that, because then it's no longer a video business card, but another type of promotional video. The essential ingredient of the video business card is your unique value proposition. Your what? You might be familiar with the phrase elevator pitch. It's the short introductory story you create to tell someone about yourself or your business in the time that it would take you to go up or down a few flights in an elevator. The problem with elevator pitches is the sense of urgency. More attention is placed on getting a lot of information shot out of the person that you've just met in a very short period of time, rather than on the content of that information. The message becomes broad, generalized, and doesn't target the specific needs of the person that you've just met, who may also be wondering how anything that you've rapidly shot out at them can help them. A value-add proposition makes you think about content. What is the value you or your business can give to the person you've just met. And so, just as your business probably has more than one thing of value, the people that you meet have different needs. When you're crafting your video business card, you will first and foremost be thinking of which of your audiences you want to reach with that particular business card. We'll go over the specifics of crafting your video business card in the next lecture, keeping in mind the KISS principle. Keep it short and simple. Crafting your business card dialogue starts with your audience. Who? Who is it that you primarily want to reach in this video? If you're an entrepreneur specializing in three or four services, pick one. Then think, who needs this service? For example, I'm a social media entrepreneur working with small businesses. My services might include creating social media profiles, creating special campaigns, training staff on social media monitoring, and maybe a monthly social media checkup. I want to increase my client base, and the monthly checkup I offer has been very successful, so I'm really focusing on that. The small businesses who need this service, then, would be those who don't have social media staff and have little or no time to evaluate their social media activities. Now I have my who. If you're a small business with multiple products, pick one or a line of products that are complementary. 
What do I mean by a line of products? Well, here's an example. I'm a retail store specializing in running clothes. I carry shorts, tanks, shoes, and runner's nutritional supplies. I want other athletes to learn about my store, not just runners. Other athletes also use several of the products I carry in my nutritional supplies, like gels, powders, and vitamins. Other athletes who use my nutritional supplies is my who. If you're a nonprofit, focus on one of the main ways that your organization is creating positive change in your community and maybe who wants to help. For example, we're a homeless shelter offering clothing and evening meals. I want more people in our community to learn about our organization and we need more clothing donations. I can focus on asking people to go through their closets and donate three or four items by dropping them off at our location on a given day and time. The clothing drive introduces us to more people who have a desire to help. People who have a desire to help are my who. Knowing who you want to reach is the single most important item you need to answer. The remaining information then follows naturally. Now it's a matter of giving the following information. What are you helping them with? Why do they need you? Or tell them why you care. How you know what you know and what you know to do. And finally, how and where they can contact you. Following the who, what, why, how, and where template, you can write your video business card script, remembering to keep it short and simple. We'll explore where you can shoot your video and what equipment you will need in section seven, but the first step is to create the content of your video. The next lecture is a document to prompt you in writing your video business card. You can refer back to it if you find this is the style that you'd like to use, but right now let's continue on and explore the product or service spotlight. Hello, I'm John Harper, president of the board of Florida Medical Clinic Foundation of Cary. Our foundation is led by a board of directors made up of community leaders and staff for Florida Medical Clinic. The board awards grants on a biannual basis to local nonprofits serving children and families in Hillsborough and Pasco counties. The foundation also promotes volunteerism through its Community Leadership Council, a group of individuals who meet on a regular basis to select projects. Annually, more than 1,000 volunteers donate their time helping the homeless, feeding the hungry, giving the gift of sight to the blind, or assisting low-income children to secure education opportunities and of course enhancing the lives of physically and mentally challenged adults to name only a few of our accomplishments. Through the years the foundation has witnessed the power of collaboration and the impact of leveraging human and financial resources. This leveraging of resources enriches the lives of those in need and the community as a whole, creating measurable, immediate, and ongoing change. We are able to do so because of the wonderful partnerships we have formed with our donors and friends. Please consider joining us. We know that the lives of Tampa Bay children and families are enhanced because of these partnerships. To learn more about how you can become involved as a volunteer or as a donor, please contact the Foundation Office at area code 813-783-9932 or fmcfoundationofcaring.org. Thank you. Of the five promotional video styles in this course, the product or service spotlight comes the closest to a standard commercial. And yet, it's not meant to push a sale or close a deal. It's meant to promote your business and give the viewer more of an idea of who you are and what you do. There's a subtle difference here. A standard commercial lists prices and special offers, sale dates and deadlines. But a promotional video shows the types of products or services you carry and how the viewer can find out more. It's a bit of a more relaxed way of letting people get to know you without feeling pressured or cornered so that you can develop a long-term relationship with them. With that in mind, this is the shortest of the video styles in this course. 30 seconds spotlighting selected products or services is an effective way of showcasing a portion of your business. 60 seconds is too long to introduce your products and services and can have the opposite effect on the viewer. This one is essential to keep short. So let's look at how to choose your products or services. Just as with the video business card, the product or service spotlight is meant to highlight a few of your products, not all of them. So think again, 
Who is it that you want to reach? What product meets their needs most? What services help them with their day-to-day -day needs? Maybe you want to highlight the categories of the products that you carry.